It's harvest time in Guan Qua, a village deep in the Haitian countryside. Thousands of luscious mangoes are coming in to be sorted, washed, and packed. The local mango magnate is Gabriel Casius, but everyone calls him Gabby. Some mango aficionados say Haiti grows the most delicious mangoes on earth, and Gabi wholeheartedly agrees. Yes, we have the most beautiful mangoes in the world because they're completely natural. Mangoes are one of Haiti's major exports after textiles. They refute the stereotype of Haiti as a country that's poor because it has no natural resources and nothing to offer in international trade. So why can't you find Haitian mangoes in your local supermarket? The problem is transportation. There's really no road here, so for Gabby to get his mangoes to market, he needs to have his trucks drive down this rocky stream bed and then travel for hours in that direction before they even reach some pavement. By the time the mango truck makes it to port for shipping abroad, many of the perishable fruits inside will be mango mush. Exactement. If we had a better road, there would be more jobs for the people. Then the whole region could move forward. Lack of state investment in infrastructure has been a major factor holding Haiti back. Haiti doesn't only have mangoes, it produces excellent coffee and perhaps the world's finest rum. Labor costs are low and potential workers are plentiful and highly motivated. You would say Haiti is too rich to be poor. And the, the resources are the, are, the, are the natural beaches that are unexploited. Agriculture, huge potential, but we don't have the, the right infrastructure. So the potentials are big. But Haiti hasn't been able to leverage its potential into growth, jobs and wealth. Government policies, corruption and tangled red tape are partly to blame. In, in the government sector, there is this mentality of control rather than facilitating. And that probably goes back to the days of, of, of dictatorship and, and, and autocratic rule. They have not made that shift to allow businesses to thrive. Haiti needs policy reforms to speed permits, spur development, secure financing, and facilitate investment in businesses. Until such policies are in place, Haiti's full potential will remain untapped. And the taste of its exquisite mangoes will remain largely unknown, except for a lucky few. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Guan Qua, Haiti.